Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron and we are in the Drow city of Usnatha and talking to the Drow. That is Ilrin. To walk Ilrin. apart from house and creeds to walk into the grave. Greetings to you, male. You are one who is recently from Shed Nazad, correct? I have heard of you. We Drow gather to tell tales of our conquest on the surface, our dark stories of our past, or dark stories of our past. It is tradition in Usnatha, this place that was the first. Can I ask you some questions? If you wish an honest answer, male, your best course would be to approach Nim Kalaza here. He is the eldest of this group and the most prone to talk. You mentioned the first. What did you mean by that? Hmm, you do not know your law very well if you do not understand what I speak of, male. Surely you know something of our history, no? Long ago, when our despised cousins of the surface betrayed our kind and banished us to the depths, it was near this very place that the drought first descended. A terrible legion we encountered implacable foes at every turn through the Underdark. It was in this place that we first gathered together to protect ourselves. Usnatha means the first, the first place we gathered. The first place we wrested our birthright of power back from the sands of our hated cousins. It is from Usnatha that we invaded the cities of the stout folk and established the first greatest kingdom of Telantivar in wondrous Ber Berinden. Berinden and Telantivar both are gone now, but Usnatha remains, a reminder of the depth of blood we owe to our hated surface brethren. So is Natha as close to the surface then? Not close, but closest. The passage that winds to the surface is very near here. It is guarded ever by the great silver beast and close to us. Uh, guarded? What would happen, say, if the passage was no longer guarded? There are many other wards against us, I believe, but the silver beast is the greatest amongst them. If it were no longer guarding the passages, I have little doubt we would overcome the other wards and pay our hated kindred a long overdue visit. Do you have any other tales to tell? I have few accomplishments yet made. I completed the blooding but a year ago when I made a long voyage to the surface with two brothers. It is a blinding foul place to surface. My brothers and I found one of the surface elves, however, a female, pale uh, and delightful to look upon. She was almost too easily slaughtered. We were hunted by elven patrols and my brothers were murdered, but I carried the heart of the female back to the Underdark. It was considered a fine trophy for our blooding. My matron was pleased and has sponsored my entry into the male fighter society next year. Any other tales you could tell me? No, not really. So what do you have to say then? Victory for the Spider Queen! Greetings, fellow male. I am Sordin, manager of the Finding Pit. Here the courageous battle and slave beasts for the glory of Loth and our ent entertainment. You seem a hardy type. There are several dread beasts that have been captured and await your death blow if you dare. Your Naz Nazadran, yes, recently arrived? I have heard of you. There are many here who would desire to see you fight as well as they say. Uh, of course, if you are pale and cowardly, you need not make the attempt. The Spider Queen ever respects only those who are strong. What exactly is involved in this pit fight? It is a simple matter, male. I open the door for a short time. You enter before I close it. Once inside, I have the beast pushed in to fight you. If you win, you come out and collect 250 gold as a reward, the satisfaction of a glorious battle. You lose, the slave feasts on your remains. Very simple. Ah, what sort of beast would I be fighting? Very well, I'll... Um, no. We capture our foes in the skirmishes in the dark tunnels, male. Shark fiends, devourers, iaterans. It depends on who survives longest, really. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh, very well, I will fight in your pit, Sordin. It is gratifying to see such steel in you, male. You shall first battle an Umber Hawk, a creature of not inconsiderable size. It is angry. I shall open the gate for you now. Go in quickly. If you survive, come and speak to me once you are done for your reward. Go then, for Mother Loth. Okay. I stand we ready. Send them Where in first. Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Very well. Oh, yes, I thought. You point, 
I punch. Jump okay. on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Oh damn. Fall, creature, and feed the earth with me. It is done. He's confused. This bullet shit. Done. Okay, we made it. Ugh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my ah, life. Ah, the glory is yours, male. I'm sure the queen of the demon wet pit smiles upon you. An umber hog is no mean opponent. Here's your re bah. Here's the reward. Now, should you wish to continue to show your powers, prowess, there's another slave who awaits bloodletting at your hands, male. Not right now, maybe another time. We have to save first. So nature's servant. Okay. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. As you ask. Then Nabasu awaits the side of your flesh, and somehow I'm sure it laughs at your mail. Okay. Stand back for justice! Where's the next monster? It shall be. Gotcha. Swords! See battle, boo! Run, boo! Run! Well, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be right. Where's the monster? Consider it done. Faster than Chick, take a fast pause. Okay. Okay, now we get a fight with whatever that may be, Nabasu, it says there. Hmm. I am yours to direct, my friend. Oh, it's a, a pit fiend. Oh, it's dead already. All right. Hmm? I even playing on low difficulty on normal. So um, Minsk is level 17 now. Oh, we can't raise it above not two notches. Okay, so now we go for Warhammer. Cho you may choose one ability for your character. What do we get? Whirlwind attack, death blow, assist magic, war cry, hardiness, power attack, tracking. This ability allows the warrior to unleash a flurry of super fast blows. The ability sets one number of attacks per round to 10, but once tackle and damage suffer a 4 point penalty. The whirlwind attacks last for one round. Greater whirlwind attack. Ooh, that's good. The same uh, attacks, but no penalties. What does that do here? Death blow. To blow through the defenses of any lesser creatures. And for the next two rounds, any creature of the 10th level or lower is instantly killed when struck by the warrior. Okay, I don't think that's, that is that useful. What do we have here? This ability allows the warrior to temporarily tap a great inner strength and find off the effect of malevolent, malevolent magic. For four rounds, the warrior's magic resistance is set to 50%. This is not cumulative with other forms of magic resistance, so if the warrior already has a 50% magic resistance or greater, the ability is useless. Okay. Power attack. Okay. And what do we get? Then a critical strike. A high level warrior 
Bob's intimate knowledge of vital spots of an opponent allows him to, once per day, concentrate all of the attacks in one round to strike vital area every time. With this ability, every attack roll made in the next round is a natural 20, a critical hit. That's not bad. What do we get here then? Hardiness. 40% resistance to everything. War cry. Hmm, okay, and what does tracking do? I don't think we need that. So it really comes down to whirlwind attack or power attack. I guess I will take the whirlwind attack. I mean, that's nice too. Especially at the critical strike. I will take the whirlwind. Awesome! Okay, you have to use it like that. Minsk and boost make way, villainy! Hero coming through! I await your uh, word. Ah, we are all heroes! You and Boo and I... Didn't I disable that shit? Everywhere. Rejoice! I guess we didn't disable that. How do I... If you know how I dis disable that... I mean, if he says something when I click on him, that, that's okay. But I didn't click on him and he still is talking. If you know how I can disable that, please tell me. You have defeated an Abasu. Praise the you mail. We were very entertained by your struggle. Here's 50 gold for your display. Dare you continue? There is a prince amongst the shark fiends, the ones called Sehuajin, a strong one captured with, captured with difficulty during a raid on their city. It is a strong fighter, this one. But then, so are you. Perhaps he will succeed where others have failed. What do you say, Mel? I do it. Open the gate. But kicking for goodness. Okay, and here we have that prince. That's probably. Not I don't think he will be more dangerous than if we just killed two thousand. You gotta be kidding me. That's all. That's nothing. What did we get loot wise? I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Easy. It shall be. The shark fiend is defeated. The spider queen smiles on you this day. Many weak drawers slaughtered by the beast. Excuse me, the demon was more powerful. It is good to see it put in its place. You have proven yourself amongst us, male. For such show, I give you 750 gold. Take it and know that you are worthy of Loth's favor. There is no need to continue. The, uh, the only slave left is nobody. Is one nobody has been able to defeat. It would be a waste to see you killed by such. What slave is that? What type of creature? It is the itinerant male nemesis of the Underdog. Captured four years ago by a party of vengeful drow and has never been defeated in the pits. It has many deadly powers, only the bravest warriors have dared it and have died. There is no need to fight mate unless you wish to. I will fight it. Open the gate. Are you sure? Excellent! Attention all! A most brave drow male has agreed to take on the most horrid of all battle slaves. The fearsome eye tyrant. I shall open the gate for you. Move quickly. I will not keep them open long. Love favor you male. Yeah, wait a second. So, if that is a beholder, we switch back to the shield of Balduran. And you, and you, no, not you. You too, go in there. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. And yes, it's, it's a fucking beholder. Not even an elder orb. Fourteen thousand. Not a big game. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Quit bitching. Guess what? We defeated it. Consider it done. You... You have killed the eye tyrant? Truly you are worthy of any lord's mother Loth may lay down upon you here. One thousand gold is a reward for the sight. I see now why the house Despana shows you such attention. 
despite being Nez Zedran, a male of your potency would. Oh, despite being Nez Zedran, is that where I'm supposed to come from? A male of your potency would be a worthy addition to any house. I thought it was my name. Ah, may have lost track of things here. Unfortunately, there are no other battle slaves in my pen, none of a worthy foe for you. Perhaps if you return at another time, I'll see what I can collect, yes? Fine, tell me what you know of House Despana then. Despana? A potent house led by matron Mother Aldulase. Some say it shall one day be the most powerful in Usnatha, but Mother Loth can't be fickle. It is said that Mother Matron or matron mother has shown an interest in refugees from refugees from Chetnasad, which I can only presume means you. Your battle prowess must be the reason. Do you know anything about dragons in that area? Rumors of dragon kind come and go. Some even say the matrons have made trade with the dreaded shadow dragons of the nether, nether regions. The only one we know for sure here is the fearsome silver beast that hunts the drow parties that even go near the ancient passage of our first descent. I know little enough of it, perhaps one of the storytellers here might be able to inform you better if you are interested enough to this. I have heard that the drow army here is busy. Any idea what they are doing? There are whispers of a great bloodletting plan upon our hatred betrayers of the surface world. Or perhaps war is to be made on the devourers. Regardless, you are correct, the matron mothers are hoarding warriors and mages. Until they say what they are doing, however, no one will truly know. I'll be on my way then. Okay, so yeah, that was nice battle. But mm, nothing too troublesome for our melee fathers. That's locked. Can we open that? Good to go. No, we can't. On my honor. I will do my best. Oh, wait, we go and go upstairs here. What? Wait, what's that? Sundar. To walk apart from house and queens. To walk Welcome. I trust you have come to my dueling arena because you are tired of seeing pitiful monsters put to death in the name of sport. A well-respected male such as yourself will know that the only opponent worthy of a draw is another draw. I provide that opportunity. The current match is just beginning. It will be an inspiring display of skill on the part of our most illustrious competitor. You're not placing our warriors against prisoners, are you? I would hardly call that a battle. Nothing like that. Such a thing would not be worthy of the combatants we wish to show. Observe and you shall see the quality of both sides. If I might have everyone's attention, if I may, with the permission of our most distinguished females and the interest of our most hardy males, I might I draw your attention to the pit at the fore. The pride of the males of the first towers, master of blades Lazoanar, is here to prove his ability to resolve. He has accepted an unusual challenge. Four members of the male fighter society have answered a slanderous command with demands for blood. Lazonar has shown his content by facing them all at once. Watch now and all concerned will place their lives in the pit and their fates in their blades. As always the victor may claim to all of the vanquished's equipment. The drow rule supreme! The game of rule. We fight. Four against one. Well, 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 they apparently are weak. Uh, he, uh, that's not even fair. He does 10 damage. The draw do 8 damage and miss. Miss, miss, miss. So he's obviously much stronger than they are. Maybe we should use some magic here. The draw rules supreme! Question the I am victorious. They are worms, as I said. Their house is weak, their blades dull and listless. Ah, you were obviously the superior in both age and skill. Do you gloat over children? What? Who slanders me? Step into the pit if you think you are yourself better than I. I believe there has been a challenge. Do you accept? I will allow time to repair if need be. 
We would want both sides at their best. Uh, before one, that this will be a one-on-one -on -one affair. I will allow no more top-sided slaughters. Fine. Wait, where is Minsk? Oh well, Keldon shall face him now. As you wish. Attention, we are to have another challenge immediately. Keldon will now enter the arena and face Lezoana. Supreme. Where's Minsk? He's still too far away, apparently. Well, you know what Aye, happens. As you wish. <laughs> Come, take you. Ooh, 42 damage. I guess a draw is going to buy the farm here. Hold! I, I yield. You have proven the better combatant this day. I I yield the victory. Oh glory for the dark mother. Hmm, I do not recognize you for such a strong female to come out of nowhere is unusual. Who who's she talking to? To Jahira. Okay. I thank you, I take great pride in my ability. I can see that, yeah, you have to answer like a draw here. You will have ample opportunity to test it as well. Lazana is my favorite ma- of the path that has been taken so far. <laughs> Good has been upheld. L is my favorite male and his honor is of value to the first house. Speak with Sonda when you are ready to face me. You have a debt of honor to pay. Oh really? Fine then. We slay you all. It's no biggie. Really, it is. Come on, everybody should be here that I can choose them. Next. Next. Do not question the matron mother. You have been challenged by to fight Les. How what's his name? Lesionars. To fight Lesionars better. She has the right to call for such an action. Then I will answer the challenge. You may again choose who shall answer this challenge. Are you ready to do so now? Keldon will answer the challenge. Keldon faces... What's her face? Shalintra. Attention all. Really. The point is, what do we get here loot-wise? Quiet. Imperium. Oh, she's an age. So be it. it. Oh, blade barrier. Longsword, draw elven chain. And we attack you again. Um true thing, please. Good is on our side this day. Tom, take you. Looks like we were victorious. What do you require? Very well. You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. I'm done for now. I have nothing more to prove today. So, what do we get here? Blade of the Searing plus 3. The benefits inherent in this sword are plain to see. It is exceptionally accurate and the lick of flame follows every blaze, searing the target in addition to a normal to the normal damage received. It is an efficient troll killer, though it has not been heralded as such in Song on Legend. It's a plus three sword, sadly not usable by a uh, druid. Alright, so you have long sword. Yeah, you don't know shit about those items, I know. Long swords plus three. 
Crow Elven Chain. I'm thinking Ari should be able to use those too, right? Exactly. Very well. Any more challenges? If you are willing, I have a mage that wishes to further his status in the pit. If you have a mage on your own, you may face him. Tell him that Veldrin stands ready. That's that's me, apparently. Veldrin in your go. Attention, a wizard's duel is next in the pit. Mage versus mage. Okay. So I give you first uh, Calvin's warning whip. Thank you. Now I give you a breach. Now I give you a Mavs acid arrow. What is the summoning skeleton? Web. Oh, I'm too close. That's follow sad. Where is he? Magic resistance lowered. Hey, you use that shit, right? Thanks. This is not working. Okay, first things first. Give me the ring of healing. Uh, re mm, free action. Thanks. It shall be. Okay. Um, now Much in my life. Can you rest now? 
Okay. Now I take your spell protections away. Message error you. Did I cast the uh, maps as an error? Last another one. I guess we are victorious. Do not question the matron, You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. Are there any more challenges for me? There's another mage. Not now. The problem is I have to regain my spells before I can face another mage. What do you have? Well, maybe it will work. We shall see. I still have a Calvin I will do book. my best. We will crush you. Crush you to go. Um, true seeing, baby. Didn't even need any magics. Very well. You have done very well, yes. Anyone else wants to challenge me? Okay. See her now. Yes. As you ask. Rock show. Uh, apparently, she's here. You will 
smash your face! What is my task? No. First up, only you. What is that? An issue? It shall be. There she is. What the fuck was that? Consider it done. Okay. One thousand is really nothing. I guess we were victorious. I require assistance with my wounds. Yeah, I know. Vita, more Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and who and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Okay, I wasn't sure whether he would still look like a drow after a healing, but apparently it works. question is, did I lose anything? Because of the attacks of the Nishru? Dispel effects, but Haywood was not protected by anything. Okay, that's really nothing. One thousand for the Nishru is really, really killers. I guess all that stuff is still there. It is done. There are no other opponents. You have become quite the imposing figure. You are destined for good things if your matron takes notice. On my honor. Oh, nice to hear. I await your word. So after a lot of fights, we will pause the game, or rather end it here, and continue on the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.